What's going on, YouTube? So this is one of the things people don't really talk about. Now, when do you correct somebody versus when you don't correct somebody? <laughs> now, dealing with this problem happens so much in ROTC, and it happens inside the military as well, because a lot of us don't know when to correct somebody and when not to correct somebody. Let's get into the video. Okay, so obviously you got to pick your battles, right? Because if your chief is walking around and his, uh, his blouse is unbuttoned, right, then you'll be like, hey, chief, button up your blouse. But a lot of people won't correct somebody because they don't want to... They don't want to have the confrontation, right? It's not boot camp everywhere. Like a lot of people go to boot camp and you just see people getting corrected left and right. They, they, they make them drop, they make them do push-ups, sit-ups, jumping jacks, whatever the case may be. So you see people get corrected a lot. But inside the military, you'd be surprised how many things people let slide, right? Especially when it comes to uh, the rank difference. It, go, it goes to the gender difference. Man, that's a big one. The gender difference is like a real big um, thing people don't really like to talk about when they're correcting somebody. I'll give you a prime example. Like if you see a, if you see a, I don't know, a E6, a E6 uh, versus a E2. Like you have an E6 male and an E2 female, and then like some people don't even know the rank um, differences, right? It's not even like it's a huge gap between the E2 and the E6, but it is probably like in years. But what I mean by this, an E2 could tell an E6, hey, hey man, you need to do this or you need to do that. That's not in regs, you know. You know, petty officer, that's not in reds. But, like, when it comes to the uh, the male and female, man, I see it all the time. Like, men don't really know females' uh, guidance, especially when it comes to uniform regulations and vice versa. Like, you don't know really when to correct somebody. I'm going to give you an example. So, like, I see people, like, mess this up all the time, especially with hair regulations. Like, you will see somebody with the hair regulation, their hair might be too long for the men, or the women's buns might be too big, like, if they got their hair wrapped up in a bun. And then somebody be like, man, I really want to say something. Like, their hair looks really out of reg regulations, but I just don't know what the regulations are. I say that to say, man, you got to know, you got to know what you're talking about. Before you correct somebody, know what you're talking about. And then if you don't know what you're talking about, you got to get smart on these subjects, especially if you like, you have like a lot of young uh, people that's like in your command, like uh, the younger they are, the harder they are to correct because they're going to ask you where you found that at, or they're going to give you like a whole bunch of back talk and it's going to be a whole big thing. Like, but if you know what you're talking about, it's really not a long conversation and it's not as hard to correct somebody. Now that's just uniform regulations. Let's talk about something else. Like if somebody's doing wrong on the job, when do you correct somebody when they're doing wrong on the job? Now, I tell people all the time, you got to pick your battles with this one because you could tell somebody no, but that no is going to lead to them having animosity against you for like, you know, the whole time you at that command or you working with that person. A lot of people don't talk about that, but that's very true, man. Like people hold grudges so long and it's very annoying too. like they'll deny your leave chat and stuff like that. And then you'll say like, oh, I could just, you know, what I'm saying I could file a complaint with somebody and then, you know, they can't do that. It's against the rules. Now, I'm going to tell you this, like. You got to know who you're messing with. You know what I'm saying? You got to know people and you got to know when to say no. You got to know when to hold your cards and when to fold the cards. Because a lot of times you saying no to somebody might be like them saying no to you on something else later down the line. Or you got to understand that the um, your, your environment, like where you're working at. Because sometimes if it's operational ready, especially like if you're working on jets. I'm going to just say to people working on jets. Maintenance control might tell you to do something for a reason like yes you can ask what that reason is but sometimes they gotta they gotta get it done immediately and they explain it to you later i can make this video super long i promise but i will say this man you gotta know when to pick your battles you gotta know your information and before you correct somebody make sure you like you mind your tone right you talking to people at the end of the day that that doesn't matter basic respect doesn't doesn't like go away just because you're right you feel me so you got to make sure you keep your your respect level up and then know what you're talking about hopefully everybody's having a good day and i'll catch you next video peace